Once again, hello! This is Kat Yuri. Welcome to part 3 of Season 1, Episode 11, Hairography, the rewatch. If you watch part 2, I just had a very disturbing idea. Don't ever want to think about it again. Let's continue with Schuster, who is completely oblivious to all this plotting going around him. With intention of discriminating against your glee club, Mr. Rumba. We extended an invitation to the Jane Addams Academy to perform because we're lucky enough to have better facilities than they do. And you think we don't have the same problem? I run the glee club at a school for the deaf. You think I'm rolling around in deaf choir money? Now, now, sure, my kids may be deaf, but that shouldn't distract everyone from the fact that they still have a song in their heart, and they should have He's the same appeared. chances everyone some music. else to express it. Now, I had scarlet fever as a kid, leaving me deaf in one ear. So I remember what it's like to have full hearing, but my poor kids don't know the difference. All they know is that they loved performing. And then they have to hear that McKinley went and invited those bad girls to the school? That's just not fair. It's not fair. Did your phone's ringing. What? Your phone's ringing. No, I got it on vibrate. All I'm saying is that it would be nice if you went and hosted another scrimmage and had the courtesy to invite us this time. I couldn't agree more. What's that? I said, I agree. I wish they would go back and invite the, kid, the other teams over to compete again, like invitationals or something. That'd be interesting again to do it. Yeah, minor topic. Oh, hey, I can't hear you. Talking to this here, Scarlet Fever. I'm sorry. You're on. Um, how's Monday? It has to be Monday. Yes. All right. Monday. I, I, I can't wait to, to see the kids do the numbers. Well, you don't have to make fun of me with those hand gestures. I know. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean to. Okay, let me check with my secretary. Oh damn! Four missed calls. What's that? Well, I didn't say anything. Yes, thank you. I take it flat. Two sugars. Hello? Hello? I can't do this anymore. It's time to tell him. Eric? Yeah, honey. Oh, hey, Kenny. <laughs> Damn, Will. You make one sexy grease monkey. Ah, uh, I'm having so She's much fun. Thinking. Working with my hands, searching for parts all over town. I feel like I'm in a Springsteen song. <laughs> Well, I gotta get some old dish towels and uh, mop up the grime. This car is a perfect distraction. I would get something like that for Phil if I didn't think it would make him so happy. Sometimes he's gonna get pretty damn suspicious when I come home from the hospital with the baby. You need to relax and drink more. I have got this whole thing figured out. You do. One of these due dates is right around spring break. You and I are going to have a ladies' week at a spa down in Cincy that caters to the prenatal set. But in reality, we're going to be camped out in Blue's office with Quinn until that high school hussy drops. That's a great plan. Except for the fact that Quinn won't give us her baby anymore. But she will, dummy. We have to distract her with the reality of her situation. How can you do that? She needs money. I'm gonna have her babysit my kids. Five minutes long with those little mom girls, and she'll have her tubes tied. Mm. You're so smart. You got the beauty, but I got the brains and the beauty. <laughs> Point of order! Rachel's makeover in this episode is exactly how she looks now! Hey, Rachel. Oh, hey, Finn, I didn't see you there. Did you want to ask me something? Oh, yeah, I, I just got, forgot. I got distracted. Well, I'm glad I got him attention. I wanted to know if he wanted to come over on Friday night. As someone who said long luxurious locks since I was a toddler in the pageant circuit, I figured I could give you some tips on our hair number. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, great. How's 8 o'clock? 8 is terrific. Objective achieved. And then space two. Hey, quick! Here's a thing. That little bow tie thing. I think he's worn that a lot of times. With the chain. Hmm. Who is Gwenda's talking to? I uh, wanted to ask your permission to maybe do something on Friday night. Oh, that's fine. I'm babysitting anyways. Oh, uh, cool. I'll see ya. 
yearbook staff join now. Hey, what are you doing here? Just the usual. So you stand outside the 7 Eleven looking depressed until someone offered to buy me beer, but what's going on? You want to make a baby suit, <laughs> In high school terms, that means. Some of you, particularly the guys, have come up to me with some questions about hairography. <laughs> One of our own has volunteered to walk us through it. She has got it down. Brittany, take it away. Take it away. Show us what you got. Oh. <laughs> It's not hierarchy. Um, it works best when you pretend like you're getting teaser. So you just Kurt move your head around like you're spazzy and stuff. There it is. Wow. Uh, Finn's <laughs> 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 got it. Come on, Lexi. Come on, guys. Yeah. Good job. 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 My neck, my back. When is the line gonna stop, Sue? What are you talking about? You've been spying on me, and we both know it. You'll do anything to torpedo Glee Club, and it has got to stop. I resent that accusation from you. And one I understand you've been making to our friends at Haverbrook and Jane Adams, and it's an outrageous affront to my sterling reputation. That being said, Fine. I have been checking up on you. This I don't like what's going on in there. Do you know why I'm making you my Cheerios wear your hair pulled back in a ponytail? Because I don't want to distract from her impeccable talent. You seem to be taking the opposite approach, Will. And that leads me to believe you know your kids don't have what it takes. Ooh, Sue is having a point. Mmm. Believe in my kids. Well, maybe in the beginning, but not now. Now that you've seen the competition that threatens your very position at this school, you're going to get me an updated set list by five o'clock tomorrow. And if there's anything on that list that involves demeaning, fruity hair tossing, I'm cutting it. I will not let you dictate my number choices. And you are not getting that list. And I'm back is coming right now. <laughs> Even Brad was looking out going, ooh, this sounds fun. Okay, guys, from the top. Hmm. I'll just be a second. Thanks again for helping me out with this hairography stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it's all about getting warmed up. Could you think of a song maybe that we could practice with? What about the, the one from Greece? Hmm. You, you know, we did it when we first joined the club? Well, okay, only I was just mostly nervous that day. But... Okay. Tell me about it, Stud. I got chills, them all from flying. And I'm a little bit of a soul. Got the power, got the flying. It's electrifying. You better shake the. Dear God. Because I need a man. Wait, stop, stop. What's wrong? I need to be honest with you. I'm, I'm really uncomfortable right now. I'm, I'm going to say this as nicely as I possibly can. You look like a sad clown booker. Okay, she doesn't. Just look, it just isn't you. I mean, maybe when I first saw it, I was caught off guard by the fact that you looked all dull and stuff, but... Something's really great about you, Rachel. I actually like the way you usually dress. Sequin leg warmers and stuff. I thought this is what you liked. No. Not at all. Funny. I was just having this conversation last week with Kurt, and he asked me. So what kind of girls do you like? Oh, uh, well, I like the women natural and stuff. Uh, not a lot of makeup, not skin tight clothes. That sort of thing, huh? No, no, this is my fault. It isn't right for me to be here anyway. Thank you, Finn. But I really like you, Rachel. I gotta go. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus. I'm 
Mike Chang. He's got wig problems. Mike Chang. Stop that! Knock the table. This Will says. I broke my guitar. Why are we singing Will about it? Oh. Do you realize music video? Yeah. Papa, I know you're going to be upset. Cause I was always your little girl. But you should know by now. I'm not a... Hmm. <laughs> Everyone's like... This is the first time they have all been asleep at the same time. It's that smell. So, you got them to take a bath? What are you, an exorcist? <laughs> She's like a jet, right? I need a new clutch and a new set of shocks, but she is really coming together. What are you going to do when the kid comes? You can't put a car seat in that thing. No latch system. Oh. You look awesome tonight. I was surprised at how I kind of enjoyed it. I was worried about you at first. You seemed distracted. I uh, texted Mike. Distracted? I was the opposite, babe. I was. I'm skipping ahead. Because as much as I love you too. You set me up. With Finn. It looks like someone is running for drama queen again. How could you do that? I thought we were friends. And what made you think that? Oh, Kurt. You should be thanking me. Sorry, I'm going to pause it here and go back a little. Back, 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 back. There you go. And we're going to pause this one here and catch up at part four. So thanks for watching this part.